Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and today I'm here with a review of a recent picture book release, Australian Animals from Beach to Bush by Brentos. Earlier this year for the CBCA Awards I talked about another book by Brentos which was Australian Animals from Dawn Till Dusk and I'm loving this series that they are putting together. One, because they have the most beautiful, fun, unique, illustrative style, but also because their books are looking at environmental issues. The synopsis for this one says, Australia is home to many unique animals. Let's see how many we can find. Find humpback whales in coral reefs, seek out Australian sea lions in kelp forests, search for bare-nosed wombats on mountains, and spot saltwater crocodiles in wetlands. This is Australia's native wildlife as you've never seen it before. A dreamy pastel popping meditation on these special animals, their conservation status and what we can do to protect them from award nominated artist Brentos. And also there is a little note on the back that this book supports wires who care for sick and injured Australian wildlife. And just as this book suggests, it is a bit of a look and find book. So the way that it's set up, you have a gorgeous detailed picture that features a lot of animals living in a particular location. So in this case, the coral reefs. And then over the side you have a main focus animal and then some other animals that you might be able to find in that space. And because this book is also talking about their conservation status, there is a little intro at the start of the book that shows A, where Australia is, but also has a colour code for the status of these animals. So you have animals of least concern, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered or extinct. And as you're going through the book and you are looking for these animals, it does tell you their status underneath. I think this is a really great way to start talking about the conservation status of different animals in Australia, particularly because we do have quite a few endangered and critically endangered species, as well as many that have already gone extinct. Each section and lo new location has a different color theme that is just absolutely gorgeous to look at visually. But also one of the most heartbreaking pages for me is the extinct animals page. The colour choice and the decision to put them all together and to really use it as a great starting point for a conversation about how this happened and what we can do to stop more animals from becoming extinct I think is, is really valuable in this book. I haven't seen it done in quite this way which makes it both accessible for kids but is also a little bit heartbreaking. There is also a section at the back of the book that gives some examples for how we can help to preserve our native wildlife here in Australia and I think that this is just a really great easy way to talk about conservation particularly with younger readers but they're just such a gorgeous book and such a lovely way to talk about conservation and to learn a little bit more about particular animals it's really worthwhile checking out so I will leave a link to where you can find out more information about this down below I absolutely loved 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 looking at this book reading it hunting for all the animals in the pages it's great for those kids who love to find pictures within pictures so there's a great appeal there too in the comments let me know if you have read any of Brentos's work or if you follow him on Instagram I love seeing all of his posts over there so I'll leave that link down below as well if you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment for free to leave an Australian flag emoji down below otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye everyone